We are going back in time to look at a historic truck. The model is made by Techno and is one of the Europe to Middle East series of models. It comes in a colourful outer box and if we open it up, we find that inside there is a collector card. This certificate of origin confirms that the model is one of only 275 made, but strangely nowhere on the box or the card does it actually say what the model is. When we remove the very good foam rubber protection inside the box, we can see that the truck is a Mac F700, and this truck was made in the 1960s and 1970s. The model is in the colours of the Dutch company Reinhardt. Out of the box there's some assembly to do on the Mac, and that includes pressing in some door mirrors. And there's one other very small part to add, and that's a roof aerial. That locates into a hole, and the fit is good enough that it doesn't easily drop out. After that, the only thing we need to do is to connect up the tractor and the trailer. And as you can see, we can't quite drive the tractor back to the trailer because of the big kingpin, so we need to give some giant hand assistance. Looking underneath it's good to see that there are different tyres on the driven and steering axles and all of the chassis components appear to be made of metal. The drive shaft leads to the gearbox and engine which are in a gold plated colour and the steering axle and various tanks all look good. The Mac cab is very detailed and there's a sign, lights and air horns on the roof. The chromed mirrors are also nicely detailed. There are some fine quality graphics and the paintwork is very good. And the distinctive chrome grille is very nicely formed. There's a TIR sign and number plate on the bumper. Particularly good is the Mac name and the Golden Bulldog, and we'll say more about that later. The detailing on the side of the cab is also very good with a chrome grab rail and more very sharp graphics. The metal spoked wheels are particularly nice. Behind the cab there's a nice exhaust and air intake, and there are coiled lines. Small details include a filler cap on the fuel tank. The rear wheels are also nicely spoked. At the back of the tractor the lights have plastic lenses and there's a number plate. The trailer is very solidly made and it's almost all in metal, so it's a heavy piece. It is a classic trailer and it includes leaf springs on the axles and there are spare wheels at the back. The heavy ribbed container also looks the part and there are graphics which add detail. And on the sides there are the Reinhardt trucks signs. Also nice on the trailer are the wheel arches and the wheels. And the details on the back of the container are particularly good with the silvered locks. And plenty more detailed graphics. On the trailer itself there's a number plate and more graphics. And there's also something written in Arabic. And if you want to know what that means, go and ask an Arab. If the Mac Bulldog mascot is gold plated it means that the truck is made with a Mac produced drivetrain, engine, transmission and driven axles. If the Bulldog is chrome it means that other manufacturers components are used. Looking underneath the Mac the rear wheels spin well with one slightly wobbly wheel and at the front the steering seems to reach a good angle before the wheels are fouled by the wheel arches. We can't drive this Mac to the Middle East but on the test track it rolls easily enough. And because we don't like to stick to the straight and narrow let's try out the steering. And as long as the angle is not set too tight you can turn around a moderate bend. One thing that's very nice on this model is the tilting cab. And that's because as you can see under the engine you can also see the gear levers. They remain fixed to the transmission and they pass up through a hole in the floor of the cab. The trailer is simple in terms of functionality but one thing that is supplied are a couple of timbers and these are used to provide a support under the old style landing legs. When clipped together they are just the right height and the only other thing to note is the free spinning wheels. And when the trailer is hooked up to the tractor they're both perfectly grounded. <laughs> The 
Models of the historic Mac F700 have been awaited for a long time. Techno has made a very good job of it with the detailing of the Mac being particularly nice. In this particular version the classic trailer complements it well, and if you want a nice limited edition Mac model, this one is very good. Mm -hmm.